What I remember the most is when, as he walks away, as Dexter walks away, um, and he's holding Harrison, and we're watching Harrison's face, and it quickly cuts to Dexter as a, as a child, the same age, and his father carrying him. And again, along the lines of history repeating itself, or trauma being repeated in a family or in that kind of a situation, that to me was just the most heartbreaking thing. I think the whole experience is so incredibly traumatizing to her, much more so than anyone could have predicted. I mean, here she is, she, she finally finds love. And season four, she's downright girlish. You know, she's having a great time, she's found a partner, um, she thinks he's a terrific man, and she's convinced herself now, I can actually have my cake and eat it too. I can be this powerful career woman and be happy and have a relationship. And I think from the moment she sees Rita's body, she thinks, I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna last. The goodness, the, the hope, the optimism that she felt about her life or her new life, it just comes to a grinding halt and all her survival mechanisms come up and she just goes, can't trust anybody, not even my husband. You know, Aster very, astutely says to him, we were fine before you came into the picture. And then all sorts of things started to go awry. And I can only attribute this to, she doesn't say that, but pretty much in essence, she says, we were okay. And all of a sudden you entered our lives and things were supposed to get better and they got worse. And mom's dead. I mean, which is pretty, pretty harsh thing to hear from anybody, let alone a kid, do you know? I think Quinn, like Dokes, intuits that there is something so dark about Dexter's nature and he can't quite figure it out, he can't wrap himself around it, but there is something that he knows in his gut is off. It's wrong and it's dangerous. He is an evidence-based guy, but I think first it starts with his instinct. I think he absolutely looks at him and it's, some, it just doesn't add up. It just, all of it doesn't add up to this squeaky clean personality that he sees. And Quinn's like a tough guy, you know? He's pretty savvy. He knows it when he sees it, you know? And I think it starts with that. And then in this season, particularly when he gets the Trinity family's, the sketches, and he's able to put some of these sketches together. And right away, he's like, I know what I'm seeing. You guys are nuts if you don't see it. She really lays into him. And the same way, she's like um, fiercely protected. This is her family. You know, she came here, she's got no family, all of her family's in Cuba. So this family, and especially Dexter, you know, she's gonna protect with everything she's got. She lost Dokes, she lost Miguel Bravo, she's lost all these people. And this is what she's fought for. This is her territory. And Quinn is coming in, she's like, if you're, gonna try to destroy this, I will destroy you. So back up. I had, I never have any idea where we're going, ever. You know, everything is always a huge surprise and I'm always shocked, although I shouldn't be because we have such a talented, talented group that we work for, the writers and the producers and the actors, of course, but I'm always shocked at how it just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm.